to the item of the agenda number four, and that is the public hearing on the security challenges in the Middle East and North Africa region and the prospects for political stability. Uh, this hearing is organized in connection with the AFET draft own initiative report on the security challenges in the MENA region. And the main challenges in this respect uh, will be today elaborated and discussed by two experts, which I uh, welcome warmly here today among, amongst us, Mr. Sir John Jenkins, former ambas ambassador of the United Kingdom to Saudi Arabia, and Executive Director of the International Institute for Strategic Studies in Manama, Bahrain. Uh, our second expert is Dr. Gamal Abdel Gawad Sultan, Associate Professor at the American University in Cairo, Egypt. Both uh, Sir John and Dr. Sultan are pr practitioners who live respectively in Manama, Bahrain and Cairo and are confronted professionally with the perceptions in the Arab world of the role of the European Union in this region. Um, the Middle East and North Africa seem to be sliding down into what some distinguished commentators have described as the modern equivalent to the 30-year war. There is also widespread concern about the increasing number of proxy wars between relevant regional players, in particular Iran and Saudi Arabia, and the Gulf states, and the stark impact that these proxy wars could have for the long-term prospects of stability and security in this region. We would like to take the opportunity of today's public hearing to discuss which political context could be, could be most conducive to stability and security in the Middle East and which role the European Union can assume in respect to the partnership with the countries that we already have widespread developed relations. Before giving the floor to our experts, I would like to give the floor to the rapporteur for his introductory remarks and questions to the two experts. Uh, our rapporteur, as I said, c'est Monsieur Vincent Payon. Uh, je vous donne la parole, s'il vous plaît. 